Happy February 1st. I love February because in February we have Valentine's Day. And when I used to be a teacher in kindergarten, that was one of my favorite holidays to celebrate with children. On the day of Valentine's Day or close to it, we would have a party and all the children would exchange Valentine cards. And it was such a special time for friends to give cards to friends they loved and classmates that they really enjoyed being in class with. And there are other ways people celebrate Valentine's Day. They go out for dinner. Maybe your mom and dad would do that. Or they um, have a Valentine's party with cakes that are shaped like Valentine's or cupcakes and candies that are red and pink and white. Those seem to be the colors of Valentine's, but I like to make Valentine's all kinds of colors. And so at the end of the story, I will show you some things I might share with you in the days to come, how to create Valentine's of your own personal ones that you make yourself. But first, I want to read you my very favorite Valentine's book called The Valentine Bears. There's the title, The Valentine Bears, and it's by E. Bunting, another one of my favorite writers. And you might recognize this name. Jan Brett did the pictures, and if you remember the story of the hat, Jan Brett was the author and illustrator of one of her own books, and she has become the illustrator of another author's book here. And so I remind you, you can go back and read the book called The Hat by Jan Brett. And that was a very um, fun winter story. And she does have beautiful illustrations. Look at these bears. I think they're in love because they're giving each other a valentine. And that's what this story is about. So you can see when I open it up that it's a very old book because I was a teacher a long time ago. This is before you get to the title page. And it has the initials of some people who maybe sent Valentine's to each other. Here is the title page. The Valentine Bears by Eve Bunting. Pictures by Jan Brett. She certainly is good at drawing animals, right? Look at all the details. I think it looks as if he has a heart shape on his nose. Be observant as we read the story and look for your favorite part. Let's move this over a bit before we begin. This also might remind you of another story I read to you called Bear Snores On, because remember bears hibernate in the winter. They take a long winter snooze and get up for spring from their long winter's nap. So you see one bear, I think this is the daddy bear and this is the mommy bear. And I see an old Tommy clock. And I guess got the arrow pointing to between February and March. So I'm thinking that must be when they're planning to get up from their nap. All right, I'm going to begin. Mistress Bear set her alarm for February 14th, Valentine's Day. Then she curled herself comfortably against Mr. Bear's back and listened to his snores. It was good to settle down for a long four months sleep. Oh my, four months. When the alarm went off four months later, Mrs. Bear could hardly believe it. It seemed as if she'd just gone to bed. My, she said, yawning, spring already? And then she remembered, wasn't spring yet. She'd set the alarm early for a special reason. And I guess 
months, you might know what that is now. February 14th, Valentine's Day. Leaves had blown into the den while they slept. Mrs. Bear brushed them into a pile and swept them outside. Brr, she said, standing in front of the den. You'd think they'd put this special day in summer. Mr. Bear and I have never shared a Valentine's Day in all our years together. She has bundled up to come out of the den. And look at all the snow on the trees and the mountains behind them. Mrs. Bear dug up the honey pot she'd buried in the fall. She pawed off the lid and smiled. It was fruity and rich and smelled of summer, just the way Mr. Bear liked it. Mrs. Bear carried the pot inside and put it on the table next to the bowl of crunchy dried beetles and bugs. Crispy critters. How Mr. Bear loved crispy critters. Hmm. Almost sounds like a cereal type or name. Mrs. Bear huddled herself deep in her coat and went outside again. Only crazy creatures would be out this early in the year, she muttered. The sun shone through a haze, pale as milk. Crows cawed in the white air. The arms of the trees scratched at the sky. Mrs. Bear clawed away the ice on the top of the pond. She splashed water on her ears and muzzle. She sleeked her head fur and took a long, cold drink. It was time to waken Mr. Bear. Looks like she's rubbing his ear, tickling his ear. I don't know how she woke him up. Oh, she poked his back. It says Mrs. Bear poked his back. Happy Valentine's Day. Mr. Bear curled himself into a fur ball. <laughs> he said, oh no you don't, Mrs. Bear. Pulled Mr. Bear's ears till he cur uncurled himself. She tickled his paws. She pried open his eyes and watched them drop closed again. <laughs> said Mr. Bear. she had there. She carried a can of ice water inside. I'm sorry about this, Mr. Bear, she said, but you just can't keep sleeping. This is a very special day. One, two, three. Surprise! Mr. Bear shouted and sat straight up in the bed. It was a surprise, all right. Mrs. Bear jumped and the ice water splashed all over her. Mr. Bear hugged her. You thought I could sleep through just about anything, didn't you? He boomed. Well, I fooled you. Happy Valentine's Day. He pulled a box from under his pillow. I've had these here all along, he said. Oh, Mr. Bear, chocolate-covered ants, my very favorites. Mr. Bear licked his lips. Mine, too. He admired the sign on the wall. Then Mrs. Bear ran for the poems, and Mr. Bear read them aloud. Here's the sign that she's put up there. Something about sharing Valentine's with the one I love. He admired the he had admired the sign on the wall, but now he read them aloud. Dear Mr. Bear, you are my Valentine. That's lovely, he said to her. He 
His nose wrinkled. Is that fruity, rich summer honey I smell? Mrs. Bear smiled. Will you join me at the table? They sat together, sharing the Valentine treats till shadows filled the den and the bowl and the box and the honey pot were empty and the special day was ended. I'm gonna read you the note on the Valentine card that one of them made. Red berries are red, blueberries are blue, termites are sweet, and you are too. Termites, oh my, they all, they have a liking for bugs. That's a bear thing. And then they went to sleep again until spring. Wow, what a sweet story of how they got up early to celebrate Valentine's Day together. It's so fun to think of animals doing things like that. And I wanted to um, just share a few things that I did just a day or so ago to get ready for Valentine's Day, February 14th. I always get out all of my little things so that I can make some homemade Valentine's car cards for people. And so you see, um, I even can use something like this, playing cards, covering them with special paper on the back. I've made this little Valentine card with a piece of cereal box with a sticker on it. Then I can write a message on the back. I'll use tissue paper, that thin paper you wrap gifts in. And I find some cute stickers Ooh, with bears and hearts. And these things that we used to use in kindergarten called doilies, lacy pieces of paper that um, we used to use in kindergarten. Um, you can make small, tiny little cards, all your own. I made this with paper. I can teach you how. It has a small message inside. The world may tell you that you don't fit in. I don't agree. I think you're the missing piece. You're the missing piece to my great Valentine's Day. You might tell that to your friend. Here's another with a little card inside that you could write your own message. If you'd like to learn how to make some of these little cards, I'm going to share that. I have one that folds out like this. You are loved. And some more of the playing cards. And last of all, I just made these special boxes. Watch this. See all my Valentines that I have for my friend inside? This box folds in like magic. Now I still need to decorate it here and here with some paper maybe like this. Tie a string around it so it stays closed, but I can pop it back open, or my friend can when they receive it. If you'd like to see some of the ways that you can make these things, stay tuned. But don't forget to go back and read um, Bear Snores On, or The Hat by Jan Brett, or read this story about the bear and his wife who woke up early for Valentine's Day. It's such a special story. I might read it again this afternoon. Happy February 1st.